We begin this evening with several efforts to bring high speed Internet to rural areas of Oklahoma. We'll have more in a moment and what lawmakers are looking to spend on it and what one tribe is receiving from the federal government. But we begin with a high speed hybrid Internet access in the homes of some Inola residents with the goal of getting it in every rural community in Rogers County. Two News Oklahoma senior reporter Justin Ayer explains how that's possible. It costs $139,000 for people in this Ruby Estates neighborhood to get access to broadband internet, all coming from that tower. The sign out front of Ruby Estates in Inola will tell you, high-speed internet's available. It comes from this tower and fiber optics installed this week by engineers at Ulaga-based Atlas Broadband. What started as a three-person company in 2002 is now a 30-person team, according to owner Milos Milinkovic. We decided to try a model where we will do point-to-point -point wireless from wherever very fast internet connection is available to the housing edition that is targeted. Milinkovic's team builds the towers and installs them in neighborhoods like they did here. He says they're good for 20 miles and don't require long cabling. Important for rural communities like Ruby Estates, he says, that don't have existing fiber connections in the ground. I believe the closest fiber connection to that is over eight miles, I believe, from there. Rogers County leaders say for nearly three years they've been listening to concerns from residents in Inola and other towns about the need for fast internet. He says American Rescue Plan money paid for the hybrid launch in Ruby Estates. He says it will cost about $20 million to bring high-speed internet to every underserved Rogers County resident, just under 14,000 people. Rogers County staff say they're expected to announce another broadband internet project that's even bigger than this one. In Inola, Justin Air, 2 News, Oklahoma. Broadband infrastructure is also on the agenda for the Oklahoma Legislature's special session next week. Lawmakers will consider using ARPA funds to improve broadband access to rural areas across the state. State Representative Logan Phillips told us these funds are in addition to the $167 million from the Capital Projects Fund that will be going to broadband-related expenses. $31 million from the recently passed bipartisan infrastructure law coming to Oklahoma to also help expand high-speed internet. In our area, the USDA awarding the Osage Nation money to connect 831 people, 18 businesses, and 128 farms to high-speed internet in Osage County. Officials say this project will serve the Osage Nation and socially vulnerable communities in Osage County.